Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to do an update video. I know that I have a lot of stuff going on here on my channel um, as it's the summertime and I have a little bit more free time to do things um, here on my channel. So I want to give you guys an update of the things that are happening. First thing we're going to talk about is the June ATC swap. Um, as you guys know, the last day to have postmarked your ATC swap was yesterday, which was June 30th. So as of right now, I have 22 currently um, in my hand, and I know that I have at least two more coming. Um, so if you haven't seen your ATC swap go up on my channel, everything is up on my channel. All the swap entries are up on my channel. So if you have not seen your swap go up on my channel, please let me know. Um, if you have not contacted me already um, to let me know that your swap is on the way, Please let me know. I know there's two people that sent me messages in the last couple of days letting me know, hey, I have postmarked my package by the 30th. It's on its way. So I know that I still have two more to get. Um, so if you've already contacted me and let and have let me know that it's on the way, you don't have to let me know. But if you haven't contacted me and you don't see your swap up on my channel, please let me know. Um, I don't want to leave anybody out and I don't want to um, start working on separating and putting these um, pocket letters back together until I have everybody's. Um, the process is the same as far as how I will pick um, who gets what ATCs. It's going to be a very long, lengthy process because, like I said, I have 22 already here. I know that there will be 24 total unless somebody else's is on the way that I don't know about yet. Um, so as of right now, I know for sure there's going to be 24 um, ATC entries, which is a huge number. And as you guys know, I am going to be creating the pocket letters for you and sending them back as a completed pocket letter. Um, <clears throat> so that is going to take me a little bit of time, but I don't want to start working on that until I have received everybody's um, pocket their ATC cards because I will, as you guys have seen me do on my channel, I will write everybody's name down nine times, actually eight times, and um, when you take 24 times eight, that's how many um, different pairings that you will get. Um, I will draw your names out of a bucket until each person has eight pairs of people. Um, and I will then put that pocket letter together just like that. Um, I'm going to do it the same way I do all of the um, swaps where everybody's name will go in the bucket and I will pull out who gets whose ATC cards. Um, if you're interested in knowing how that happened, I do have a video uploaded somewhere in my playlist that goes over how I pick who gets what swap back. Um, in a video for last month's tag swap. I will not film this one because like I said, there's 24 different ATC entries. And so every single person's gonna have their name in the bucket eight times and it's going to be a very lengthy video. So I will not film that one. I might film it, but I do not know if I'll upload it just because that video will probably take an hour um, just to film that video because it's going to take that long to um, pair everybody up. So, um, like I said, please let me know if yours is on the way and you haven't contacted me so I know not to start because soon as I get these other two as of right now, when I get the other two that I know I'm waiting on, I will... <coughs> then start to go ahead and do this process so I can get these pocket letters out to you guys as quickly as possible. Um, because 
I like to return things to people as quickly as I can. I don't like to hold on to stuff. And plus it's now July 1st and I'm getting ready to be posting the July swap so that everybody um, has a quite a bit of time to figure out what they want to do for the July swap. Plus um, I do have the challenge going on along with that. So anybody who is waiting to send their challenge out until they see what the July swap is, that video is coming. I will have it posted this weekend um, so that you guys know what it is. Um, there has been several people um, that has sent me messages and asked me what the July swap is going to be because they were working on their challenge entry and they wanted to send them together. Um, so I will be posting that video as well this weekend. It may not be today. It might be tomorrow, but, um, that video for the July swap will be going up, um, at some point in the next day or so. Um, so that is the update on the ATC swap. Now keep in mind that I do have, right as we're speaking, 24 pocket letters to make. So that may take me a couple days to complete that. So please bear with me. I promise you that I will have these sent back out to you as quickly as I can. But again, I'm not going to start the pairing up process with who gets what ATC card back until I have them all because it's not fair to do that. Um, I don't think it's fair to do that um, because I did give a postmark date of June 30th. Um, that means that I will wait until I get the final ones in. Anything that has been shipped out in the mail this weekend or as of yesterday, I will wait to get all those and then I will start working on pairing these up and getting them sent out. Um, so bear with me on that. I will update you as to as to when I get them all completed and get them shipped out. I'm hoping to have them completed within three or four days of me getting the final uh, swaps in. So I'm hoping to have them sent back out to you by next weekend. So we'll see. I'm going to cross my fingers on that. Um, but as uh, there's many things happening on my channel, I don't know, don't hold me to it, but I'm going to try and get them sent out next weekend back to you guys so you guys can get them as quickly as possible. So that is the update on the ATC swap. Now, um, the next thing I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about was if you guys are subscribers to my channel and you do got, you guys do not know about the 50 shades of crazy crafters hop, um, please go to my playlist and I have a playlist that says 50 shades of crazy crafters hop. Um, if you guys are interested in, if you guys didn't watch that video of the hop itself that I posted last Saturday, please refer back to, um, the video. I'm going to show you guys again the prizes that you can win, um, in case anybody is interested in, um, going back through. You have until I'm going to be closing the swap prize package on, um, not the swap, the 50 Shades of Crazy Crafters Hop prize package on July 4th, which is Tuesday, and I will either pull the winner, I'm probably going to close it um, at about noon, and then I will pull the winner that evening on 4th of July evening for this prize package here. So um, there is a little bit of a requirement as far as entering in to win these wonderful prizes. But if you are interested in winning these prizes, please go over to that video and watch it all the way through so that you can um, have a fair shot of winning these embellishments that I have made for the hop. Um, and like I said, you have to be a subscriber of mine. You have to go over and in my description bar to that video, there is links to all the other ladies that are in the hop. Um, please go over and in order to get extra entries, you can go over and look at their hops, leave a comment on their videos, and that gives you extra entry points into winning these products here. So if you're interested in that, please go back and look at that video. I will try to have that video linked in this description bar below, but I probably can't do it until after the video is uploaded. So I will um, 
try to have all the information you need in this description bar below um, if you're interested in winning this um, 50 Shades of Crazy Crafters Hop prize packages. So what I have made is um, these little embellishment packs. This one here is a mason jar and we got a rosette there. I'm not going to go into detail on these because in the original video I do go into detail in that video. So if you're interested in knowing exactly the process of what it is you're winning, please go over and check that video out. But I will briefly show you to give you an idea of the prize package um, that is being given away for that hop. So please go over and check that video out if you're interested in um, winning some of these lovely, lovely embellishments that I have made. Um, and this is just a roll of ribbon, um, burlap ribbon that I've taken off the roll to make it easier for shipping. Some more rosettes here. <clears throat> some of my watermelon paper clips that I made and then you will get um, a variety of these straws here um, a set of these buttons here um, also these flags here by paper studio these uh, and hats there and then a set of this art tape from Dollar Tree a couple different size napkins varieties and then here is two more sets of little bows. Where's that other little set? So, um, yes, if you're interested in possibly winning this little embellishment package for the Fifty Shades of Crazy Crafters Hop, please go over to that video and it will give you all of the details on what you need to do to be able to enter to win all of that yummy goodness right there. Um, and if you have any questions, just send me an email or leave me a message, you know, um, in the on YouTube, and I will answer your questions. But like I said, it's pretty self-explanatory in the original video what you need to do to enter to enter to win that lovely package of embellishments there. Um, so that is update number two. We talked about that. The last update. Um, I want to talk to you guys today about is the challenge. Um, as you guys know, I started a challenge at the beginning of June and it's running through the end of July. You have until the last day of July to postmark your packages, of course. Um, and I have had several people send me in, um, when they sent in their ATC swaps, they also sent in their entries into their um, into the challenge because they are both going on at the same time. So um, I just want to let everybody know that the challenge will go through to July, the end of July. And for those of you who are wanting to do the July swap and send in your challenge um, package as well, you can do that together. Um, and like I said, I will be posting the July swap um in a video in the next day or so so you guys know what the July swap will be. I know some people didn't have time to get in ATC cards so they wanted to do the July swap instead of the June swap which is fine. I gave you that option in the original challenge video and again I will have I will go back and link the challenge video um, for the proud to be an American summer bash challenge in this description um, box as well as the 50 shades of crazy crafters um video so you guys have something to refer back to if you wanted to but in my challenge i am having i have gathered the majority of the prizes for the challenge so i want to go ahead and update you guys on the prize packages for the um challenge uh winnings there's two prize packages and I am, I have everything minus, um, 
two different dies that are still coming in, but when I get those dies, I will include them into the prize package. I just haven't received them yet. And as we go along, I'm sure I'll pick up other things to be included into the prize package as well. But this is the majority of what's going to be in the prize package, as well as you will get a portion of the embellishments that have been sent in for the in for the challenge entry. I will be sharing those embellishments back with the winners of the prize packages. So um, <clears throat> there's no guarantee which ones you'll get. At, when the challenge is over, I will go through and pull out um, some of the embellishments and forward them to you um, as well. I normally make a um, handmade item to go with your prize packs, but this time since we are doing embellishments, I figured that I would just share some of the embellishments with you guys that people have sent in to me so you can receive handmade items from some of the other ladies who have entered the challenge. So you'll get those. And then um, the first thing up, I will go and show you both price packages. They're quite similar, um, but there are a few different things in the packages themselves. So I'm going to show you each one. This will be price package. We're going to call it Mason Jar. And the other one we're going to call Tags. Um, and you'll see why in just a second. Um, so the first one, this is what you will receive. You will receive the stamp and die set by um, Art C, which I do believe is made by Momenta. Um, I haven't quite figured that out yet. It's either a sister company of Momenta or they companies are combined somehow. Either way, maybe not. Maybe I'm just thinking that that's the way it works, but it's really not. Anyway, Art C, and it's the dies. You get three dies and these stamps here. So you have the mason jar die, you have the smaller die, and then you have this designed label die in the center there that's shaped like this. You can't hardly see them that well. Here, let me put this other stuff down and zoom in real quick. So you have this frame, and then you have this die inside there. And the inside die matches this piece here in the mason jar, and it's got this little flower piece, the heart, and the butterfly. Um, so that will be um, the main attraction to this price pack. There are other main attractions, but um, that's whenever I started this challenge. This is I bought this and the other die set that's in the other pri price package, and that was what I based. Um, the prize packages around. You will also get this super, I love this list pad. Um, it, it looks like a watermelon. I found these at Dollar General. It says life is sweet and I picked up like six of them. I know that's silly, but that's what happened. Um, so that will be included in your prize package. I also found this um, notebook at Dollar, Jet, or Dollar Tree and it is like a hardcover and it's on a spiral and I thought they were super cute. The pen has a little elastic and it sits right inside there. So I picked up one of those for the price package. <coughs> um, this uh, art tape, I found a whole bunch of these at Dollar, Gen or Dollar Tree. Um, I picked up a whole... Okay, sorry, my middle child has two little friends over, and so they're extremely loud right now. But, um, I had found these, uh, art tapes, and I had never tried them out, nor have I had ever seen them, so I picked up several of them to put in some price packages, and I bought one for myself to try. I have not tried it yet, so I putting one of those in there see if you guys want to try that out then I found next up is this stamp that I had um, got off of AliExpress and I just thought it was super cute with the Eiffel Tower um, I like this hot air balloon here and this little love and the big Eiffel Tower there so I picked up um, two of these or I ordered two of these 
super cute. Then I got a couple of sticker sets from Hobby Lobby. This one with the ice creams um, and the sundaes and whatnot and the donuts, of course. I love these stickers. I use them all the time. And then I found this um, butterfly set from um, Dollar Tree as well. And I thought it was super cute, so I put that in there. I also got this um, set of deco tape from the Dollar Tree. Um, I had bought several, several different ones of these down in Kansas City um, whenever we went down there, you know, several months ago. So I am including one of those in there as well. Also at Dollar Tree, I found, I've never seen this washi before. Um, but I did pick up several of these so that I could share with you guys. I don't know if you guys ever seen them, but, um, I just thought they were super pretty with the different, and as you go around, I bought one for myself and I pulled it out and the design is just different all the way around it. It doesn't like show this is not a really good showing of what is on that washi tape. Um, so I wouldn't judge it by this piece here because it's way prettier if you pull it out and look at it. So that's going to be included. Um, this washi tape from Hobby Lobby is going to be included as well in this package. Um, also I found several of these on clearance whenever I was in Hobby Lobby and this set of ribbon is going to be included in the prize package as well as um, this set of sequins. I had picked up two of these and I opened them up and put one in here and one in the other one, um, the other package. And then with that, I also opened up, anybody who watched that Hobby Lobby haul, um, I pulled out the two stickles that I didn't think that I would use just because of the colors of them. Um, and I put one in this package and one in the other package. So this one is the um, gold and this sequence is the more gold toned sequence. That's why I put them in there. Then you guys, I got several different things from AliExpress this last time when I made a haul. So I kind of was um, pulled these packages out and wanted to share some with you guys. This here is just a very um, tiny star sequence and they got that shift to them that's really, really pretty. So I took, I bought two packs. I took one pack and busted it up and so I could share some with each of the prize packages. These little black enamel dots here. Um, this blue, um, mint greenish blue color, um, there's a variety of sizes inside there. Um, so that's going to be included in there as well as these bigger ones, also a variety of sizes and colors. There's purple and then this very light shimmery, lovely pink color and then some white ones down there. So that's going to be included in the mix. And then I have for you guys a few dies that I ordered off of AliExpress. One is this cloud and I thought that'd be super cute for like the summer um, projects and things like that even in the springtime. So there you're getting the cloud. You are going to be getting this set of, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five uh, scalloped flower um, dies inside there. I use this set all the time. I have one for myself and so I went to pick up two of them for you guys. So this one will be included. And then there is this um, gorgeous butterfly. This label is over the top of it. And I picked up this one. Um, there it is right there. Super nice. I also picked up the popsicle. Um, I just thought it was super cute and I bought three of these, one for myself because I didn't have this one. Um, so I got one for each of the prize packages. Then I found this little scalloped um, lacy looking border 
piece and I just thought it was too stinking cute so I picked up several of these uh, one for myself and then two to give away and then um, I picked up this set of I have this set myself this is a set of three bows. You have a big one, a medium one, and a really small one. Um, so each price package will have this set of bows in it as well. And then there are two more dies that belong in this price package, but I do not have them yet. Um, one is a rose, and the other one is um, little birds on a line, um, like on a you know phone line or whatever sitting on top of a phone line but I don't have them yet um, but whenever I do get them they'll be included in the price package so and then again like I said before you will be getting um, some of the embellishments from all the entries that come in so that is price package one and I'm going to quickly show you price package number two um, the majority of it is the same. The stickers and colors are vary a little bit, but um, price package number two is is as follows. Um, the stickles that you'll be receiving with this price package, if it will focus, is in the shade rose gold. Um, there it goes. So that's the stickles that will be in there. And this is the set of sequins that will be included in this price package. Um, instead of the leopard print, you will be getting this washi from Hobby Lobby with the gingham. Um, you will be getting this same washi tape from Dollar Tree as the other price package. The dies are the same from hot are from the dies from AliExpress are the same. You'll be getting the set of flowered scallops here, the set of five. You'll be getting the butterfly as well. You'll be getting the ice cream. Super cute, right? I love this ice cream. And then you'll also be getting a set of the three bows, the big, the medium, the large. Um, and the, even the big one, these make really tiny bows. Even the big one um, is fairly small. Um, it makes this, the big, the big die here makes this size bow. So, I mean, that might be a little over maybe an inch or so inch and a half maybe at the most so that's the big set and then it goes down from there so that little tiny one makes a really tiny very cute bow um, so you'll be getting those you'll be getting the border scallop border lacy border die and the little cloud die as well and then this set also includes one of the seven piece deco tapes from dollar tree you'll also be getting some of these enamel dots in various sizes and colors and then um, these aren't enamel dots these are flat back pearls is what these are um, in various shapes and sizes you will also be get, getting a, a baggie of the a star glitter mint glitter sequence you'll be getting the ribbon as well in this one um, you'll be getting a set of the donut stickers, a set of the ice cream stickers. You'll also, instead of the butterflies, you'll be getting the birds in this set. Super cute. You will be getting a set, the same set uh, stamp here with the Eiffel Tower on it and the hot air balloon. You will be getting the art tape as well. You will be getting the same list pad as the first price package, as well as the Life is Sweet Watermelon one. And then this set um, comes with the three-piece tag, um, die, and stamp set down here. So this is the reason why we call it, we're calling the second prize um, the tag set and the first prize the mason jar set because I want to um, 
whoever I, whoever's name I draw first whenever it comes down to it will be able to pick either the mason jar or the tag and then the second place will get whichever one is didn't get picked so this is the tag set um, and yeah that is the price packages for the challenge and like I said this set also is missing two different dies the same two dies the birds on a line and then a rose die is going to be included in this whenever they come in but they're from AliExpress so I don't have them yet and you know me as I have a whole month to go until this is over so by the time it's all said and done I'm sure that I will add different things to this um, this price package as well will get some of the embellishments that are being sent in as um, challenge entries, so look forward to that. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested, um, here is a little more information on the um, challenge. So um, that is the challenge update, and like I said, I know that because I started the June swap and my challenge at the same time I think that kind of confused some people um, so I will have the challenge video linked in the description bar to this one as well just know that the reason why the swap and the challenge went up together is because I wanted to give a little bonus entry points if those people who are all the time entering in my swaps here on my channel because I have them every single month um, I wanted to give them an extra 10 points because they were going to be entering in the challenge and the swap and I also gave everybody that same opportunity so now that um, those folks that didn't get to participate in the June swap now that June's over um, they've been asking me about what the July swap is going to be that's why I say that I'm going to um, enter or I'm going to post the video of, of the July swap in the next little bit because they're asking me that because you can get 10 bonus points if you do both the challenge entry and the swap um, for either June or July so a lot of people have already done one swap for June and so they already got their 10 bonus entries on their challenge entry you know what I mean but those of you who there's several people out there that are waiting to send their July swap until they know what it is because they want to send their challenge entry with their swap as well so they get the 10 bonus entries. You don't have to send them together. There are some people who sent in their June swap this month and are waiting to send out their challenge entry because they didn't have enough time to get both of them done. And I will go back and those people, if you're entering in the challenge and you've already sent in your swap and you just haven't sent the challenge part in, I will go back and give you the those 10 extra points um, whenever I get your entries in so don't worry if you send in a swap for the month of June or you send in a swap for the month of July and you're entering in my challenge you will get the additional 10 points um, I will go back and do that for you so like I said if you have um, any questions I will refer you to the challenge video where it explains a little bit more in detail um, what I'm talking about here in case you are just now watching this video for the first First time and you didn't watch the challenge video I will have all the information in the description bar for you so you can go and check that out um, and I think that about does it guys so those are my updates for today I hope that you guys have a very fun and safe 4th of July and we'll see you guys in the next video bye